In this lesson, we are going to learn how to enter numbers in our Excel workbook or a particular cell. For example, here I can see a small table, right? Students and marks. For students, I'm going to insert A, B and C, okay? And the marks for each students, I'm going to insert like 10, 12 and 9. As soon as I enter the marks under this section, you can see that Excel did something different from what it has done so far. That means when I insert the student's name here, you can see all the student's name has aligned to left side, right? But when I enter these numbers, it has aligned to right side, right? Because these all are text values and these are numbers. As I mentioned in the previous topic, Excel holds three kinds of data. One is value, second one text, and third one is formula. So in this case, you can see text as well as numbers here, right? In this case, numbers means marks. So Excel is recognizing that what went on these numbers and it aligned to right. So in short, numbers are aligned to the right by default and text values are aligned to the left side, okay? When I talk about text, in most languages, you read from left to right. And so aligning the content of the text values to the left would make it easier to read. Again, I just want to cover a few things when I talk about text format. So I'm just going to change the heading here. Instead of students, I'm just putting salesman and sales. This is a total sales, okay? I just want to make it this numbers to the currency. So what I have to do is first select the list of ranges here. After that, go to home. Here you can see number section, right? Under this, you can see a dollar icon. Just drop down here and choose the respective country currency symbol. For example, I just want to make it as India. You can see Indian currency and dollars here and even Euro is there, Chinese here. So in case we are looking from the currency apart from this list, just click on this more accounting formats. As soon as click on this, you will get this dialog box. After that, you can see list of category left side and go to accounting. Under accounting, you can see list of symbols there, worldwide symbols you can see. So based on this, you can select it, okay? So here what is Excel is providing is by default, majority of people are using this type of currency. That's the reason it highlighted those things, okay? If I click this currency, it will convert to the Indian rupee. And if I want to make it as dollar sign, select the dollar sign, clear? And make it control Z. Again, I want to convert to the percentage. Select completely, you can see percentage icon, right? Just click on it. As soon as I click on it, it convert to percentage. Again, I'm pressing Control Z. And in case if it's a large amount like 10,000, 5,200, and 85,200, I just want to segregate this amount by using commas. So I'm just selecting this, and you can see next to that percentage, comma option. Just click on this. See, automatically the commas has appeared here, right? And in case, if I want to add decimals or reduce decimal, that case you can see this option. For example, I just want to add decimals on this. Just click on this. See, it's adding, keep on adding this, right? I just want to reduce this decimal. You can see this decrease decimal option. Just click on this. See, so please practice and let's move to the next session. Okay.